Hi guys, it's Elsa Coptus. Okay, today I'm going to show you the finished project. So, if, I'm going to tell what I did, but if you want to watch processing video, you can watch like six video. But if you don't have time, you want to, uh, you know, just watch this video for finished finish project that what I have done with this storage, okay? You know guys, to be honest with you, <laughs> I really don't like to watch somebody else, you know, share project, you know, I think it's just wasted at the time, silly. I let it either fast forward project or the processing video I love. It's share project, it's so boring. Ah, I did this, I did that, like, oh, that's boring. I never, I barely watch guy. I usually watch Jin, but since she not do processing video, I still watch her to have a uh, fast forward, so I love that. And uh, more of them know I don't only really watch guy, so um, I just like it's not learn anything. Like it's pretty boring. It's you know what somebody else talk about something, their opinion. I like to listen to that too. Even though I don't have time, but when I have time, I go to that channel and watch. Even though I'm not comment anything. Okay, stop blah blah right now. I just just my opinion. So I just love people do the tutorial fast forward. This this good processing video. That's better. So I can listen the story. They're telling some story. So anyway, so this is my I call the sliders door storage. Okay. So this I use the okay first I'm gonna say the paper collection I use from Graphic 45 the own paper collection on the boardwalk. You can see, see this one. You know to be honest with you guys, I don't really uh, use a lot of Graphic 45 paper because it's I don't know to me that seem intimidating to me. So some like dark color. This I have like long long time ago, like a couple of years ago. I just. I said you you one piece this one on that uh, uh, photo frame that's it. So this is my big project to use more paper. So anyway, so um, this is I painted all the edges. I painted first before I put it together. So I painted all into pieces first, and I this one I said paint around because I know that for sure that I'm gonna use the paper cover with the paper. But on the back inside here, I painted in, in black. When I painted, I, I hear my paper, if, and then I mop out them to seal it up. It's like a finished look, so it will stay with me longer. So um, after I painted, you no, know, I coated with my parts right when it dry. I use my used nail file or sandpaper, whatever. I sand all the edges to get the look. I'm not sure can I pick it up or not? Okay, you see that on that? Look, I just love this. I just love this how it that turn out guys. I just so in love with this guy. I love love it. So and this on the back, so this is a mistake, right? But I learned from the guy being you you too much glue underneath to create a bubble and you will tear the paper because you try to chase the bubble away. So I started only to on the bottom so I thought hmm why don't I put my rough finger on it to get that torn paper. You know what this will be a good technique to use on your layout or virtual layout the media. So again I after I get the paper to the back and I mop parts them sealed up and then sand the edges around here to get that tall the sand look I just love it guys and see the bottom there I did not use um, I did not put any file anything because I think I might store stuff so I'm concentrated on functional right now because I need more space to um, storage my stuff. So this one can be up there. So see, I love it. And make sure you get okay. First mistake, I'm gonna tell you guys. Before you, okay. Before you put the door together, you either wax the hole there for this 
for the tail of the door slide in and out. See, this is a little bit stiff. I did not wax this, okay? So if you want the smoother slide door, you want to wax it. So in the hole here, the slot and the tap the door there. See this one, I make a mess over there. Yeah, I got the ink there. It's alright that I'm using. So I use the paper there, the paper on the side, on the top there. So I should paint in that hole, but I did not. Okay, see. And the second mistake before you put it all together, I said to you guys put the knob on it thing first before you put this together because at first I want to use this uh, feet here to make a door handle to pull in but then I have to screw behind the door here but I don't have the screwdriver to, that short to screw in it, 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 it didn't work so I have to use the, this one handle so that I can screw from this side so that's the second mistake you guys can learn it from me <laughs> okay guys and oh I actually mod podge everything even the the paint that I use on this one see that I mod podge inside here too guys and see I sand all the paper uh, on the wood I even I mod podge them and sand them to get that look guys I said love it guys and I send this one to you either mod podge them or what to get uh, make the door slide in and out easy okay okay that is I did love it okay. so what I'm planning to store is my sh shimmer texture or dust look okay. this is can store only um, nine of them nice jar there so likely so right here there see that are nine the shut the door and for this uh, either um, this one I'm gonna either put in here or up on the top of this one so what I'm going to do if I'm storing in here so I'm going to turn upside down so I can see the color this one cannot be laid that way because it's too tall so this, so this one the last one so I'm going to I want this because if you have a little bit everything like um, Shimmer, Lindy Steam Gang, Tartar, Grimmel Mix, or Steam Hole. I think this one is good storage. So, this one I know for sure is for a shimmer texture. I'm planning to make the storage for the shimmer's paint too, but I don't know when. Let's see if I can put this one in here. Let's see how you can put it in a lot of them. If you have a little bit. You don't have this texture, or you have a little, you can put it up there. And you can put your uh, shimmer storage in there. Let me see how many bottles I can put that one in there. If you have like a couple color of sh um, texture or dust one. Let me see. I get 10 bottles in there. Yep, you can get 10 in there. So, this this is for people who have a little bit by a little bit everything you know what I mean so like um, because you like 
you guys might like Lindy's theme game, you might like um, Chima, you might like Tata Turing. Like, I have pretty much everything I like me. So, I have I almost used it all. I'm, I'm not planning to buy anymore. If you want to outer another one for Lindy's theme game, just you know, I did this. Cut Lindy's theme game, they have like a did uh, the bottle like this too. So, this you can store it in here too. So, I think that is pretty good though guys, I just love it. So this one can be like your 10 favorite colors, this be is awesome. The spray and or you know 3 your favorite textures. I'm pretty sure you guys have to get um, your favorite color. Anyway, that's it guys. Make sure you guys, that's so unique, I just love this guy. Thank you, thank you guys for keep watching. I did love love to look at it guys. Alright, that's it guys. Thank you everyone for keep watching and I will see you guys later. Bye bye guys.